tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. Hey everybody, this is Craig from OrgSpring, and in this video we are going to show you how to set up a custom URL for your Google Plus page or your Google Plus profile. This is something that Google started rolling out recently to people uh, that have Google Plus pages or their own personal profile. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, uh, tell you the requirements for you to get it, and then show you how to set it up. So uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun, try to make this a quick tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, shoot us a message here on this YouTube video, or of course, uh, look in the description and you'll see the page on our blog where you can also see the text to this video. You can ask us questions either here on YouTube or on the blog post itself. So we're going to jump right in. So you'll see here I have the OrgSpring Google Plus page up. And it looks like just any other Google Plus page where you have tabs like About, Posts, Photos, YouTube, Reviews, things like that. And I'm viewing this page as myself right now as opposed to what the public would see it. But your page will look very similar if you're the administrator of this particular Google Plus page or your own Google Plus profile. One of the things you'll notice up here is in the URL box, you'll see it says plus.google.com, all these codes, letters, numbers, whatever that stuff means, uh, and then forward slash posts. So this is showing all the posts for my page. Now this is a ridiculously long number, and until recently you would have to give out this information for someone to find your page, or they would have to find it online, which is a little bit different from, say, Facebook, where you can go online very easily, and within a couple likes, you have a custom URL with Facebook, that's facebook.com forward slash orgspring, or facebook.com forward slash Craig Grella. So uh, it's a little bit different. It takes a little bit longer to get one here in Google, but they do have a few requirements. So there are really only three requirements that you need to fit to have ability to get a custom URL for your Google Plus profile or page. The first one is that your account has to have 10 or more followers. That means 10 people are either following you or have circled you to follow you, uh, your page or your profile. So if this is a personal account, they have to follow you directly. If this is a Google Plus page for your organization, they have to follow that organization's profile. Your account has to be at least 30 days old or older. So this is not going to be available if you just set up your page a couple days ago. You'll need to wait that full month's period. And then you have to have a profile photo. So you have to attach a photo uh, as your profile picture or as your profile slash cover page on your Google Plus page. Those are the three requirements, uh, and they make sense, obviously. Uh, if you have 10 or more followers, uh, it shows that your page is an active page and people are reaching out to you or following your updates. Uh, it shows that uh, you're at least an established account or trying to establish yourself by putting that 30-day account hold on it. And then, of course, you are attaching real profile photos, which is another indication of putting up a real page. This is a uh, trying to make sure that uh, organizations or bots that are just throwing up Google Plus pages don't go and take all the domain names or the available custom names out there. So uh, these are the three requirements you will need to meet. Okay, so you'll notice I am at a personal Google Plus page here, and this works the same way for your organization as well. And we have here, you'll see that um, a little black bar comes across the top and says, we've pre-approved some custom URLs for your profile, including google.com with the plus and then the name of my profile. Obviously, this is just a, a sample profile that I have set up. So um, to get that URL they recommend or to change it, you're going to click this little blue button up here on top called Get URL. And it's going to pop up a custom URL page for you. For example, you'll see here your public URL is plus.google.com and all this whole number information here and they've given you a couple examples and you could click on one of these or any of these and you can click a uh, the radio button and it'll bring you to a screen that allows you to change it so you can just type in here and add different characters to what they're suggesting or you could just go with the one that they're suggesting 
and then you click agree to the terms of service and you'll click change URL. Now it's going to ask you to verify your mobile phone number and by doing that it will send you uh, some information about uh, confirming. So it's basically confirming who you are. So this is another layer of protection so that people just don't snap up random uh, URLs. So I'm going to type in my number here and it's going to send me a code to that number. Now once I get that number of course I'll enter that code here into the system. Now once you've verified your code, of course, it's going to bring you back to your page. And now you're going to see that you have the new name or URL that you've put here. It still puts a little bit of this information above, but just to confirm that it's working, you could just put the plus after the google.com or you can even get rid of this stuff here and just do google.com plus with your name or the custom URL you just added. And you'll sh it'll show you that it brings you back to that same place. So. Uh, one of the things we will check out here is, I mentioned before that uh, if you didn't like, for example, the name you've set for yourself, you can change that name. And you do that in the About page. So you'd click your About page and you will come down to the area where it has your links and your Google Plus URL is listed there. And down below in this box, you'll see an edit link. You can click the edit link and you'll have the opportunity to change that URL to whatever you want. And you could put that here. Uh, you can add or take away or put anything. Of course, uh, what you can't change is the google.com forward slash plus symbol. That's their identifier, their prefix to your name. So you could just change what's after that. Uh, and then this is the same area where you would change your other custom links as well. Change that name to whatever you want and then click save. And this is the same whether it's a personal profile or a corporate profile. Uh, Google Plus pretty much has the same type of information listed in both. So you'll see all that information listed here. When you're done, you'll either cancel out or save and that will be reflected here. Then when you want to, for example, if we look at OrgSpring, if you wanted to go to the OrgSpring page, it's simply google.com forward slash plus OrgSpring. And just clicking enter brings you directly to our page, which is a lot easier than having to remember all of that long text and information. So uh, this is a quick way to get your custom URL listed on your Google Plus page for your profile or your organization. Uh, it's a great tool for nonprofits, especially if you're going to be linking a lot to your page. If you have any questions, give us a buzz here. You can leave a comment here on the YouTube article or, of course, in the description of the YouTube article uh, or the YouTube video, you will see a link to the post, which describes the same thing. Uh, on our website uh, and you could leave a comment there as well. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and we'll uh, see you soon.